Al Muasi, one of the last remaining refugees for tens of thousands of Palestinians, many of whom have spent the past eight weeks fleeing further and further south to escape from Israel's war on Gaza. Here they have set up makeshift tents on the sand. Israel has labelled this a humanitarian safe zone, but it is not safe and it is not humane. Children died because of the freezing conditions here. Our life is now focused on how to find bread. The Israelis kill people with missiles and shells and we are about to die here because of the lack of everything that can keep us alive. They send us here to face a slow death. If the Israelis don't kill us, the current conditions here will definitely send us to our death. Khadija says she'd already been told to move three times before she set out for Amorasi. And she says there's no help here at all. Medicines are not available. I am a cancer patient and I have big problems in my heart and I cannot endure or tolerate it anymore. There are no toilets. What can I do? Am I supposed to urinate in front of everyone? I don't even know anything about my sons. Are they still alive? Have they lost their lives? I have no idea. IDF soldiers are just kilometers away in Khan Yunus. And the Palestinians here hear the airstrikes every day. There are huge numbers of tents here that host huge numbers of people, and more and more people are coming every day from Khan Yunus. Ants and flies and other insects fill the tents. We live in a catastrophic situation. Yasa Abu Asi worked for the ICRC in Gaza after spending years in the United Kingdom working as an engineer. He hasn't seen any aid being distributed anywhere in Al Muasi. It's not a matter of Hamas or Abu Mazen or Egypt or Israel. It's a matter of our small children. We're not animals. We're people. We're human beings. Even if there was a mistake that has been done, whatever, you can't punish all the people because five or, two, or ten percent. Okay. So we need we need a solution. If you if we're waiting to die, for sure, three three weeks time, people are going to die. So from poor, no food, no medicine, no meditation, no nothing. If, it, if the matter is you're waiting for us to die, okay. We're not going to suffer anymore. I'll just sit down and wait for death. Joe Levens, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.